Okay, okay, so we're gonna count to three and see if Luis is amazed and sees a lot sharper after his LASIK than before. Okay, ready? Yep. One, One, two, two three. three. Hi, this is Luis Alcapina, CEO and co-founder of Blast Center Productions. Blast Center Productions is a production company that focuses on film, photography, photo booth. We do commercial work. We do weddings, birthdays, sweet 16s. Uh, we also have a center that focuses on helping out small business owners. We uh, work with the community. We do fundraisers and we also work with the youth. We started our company about three years ago and uh, during this time is where I actually started to get a lot of migraines, a lot of headaches, uh, being constantly out in the field filming and also coming back home to edit. So I knew that I had to do something about my vision. Uh, the options were either go back and get a different prescription for my glasses or somebody like me who doesn't like to wear glasses. The other option was to basically get contacts, which I also noticed they were irritating my eyes, I was getting a lot of headaches, a lot of migraines, and the only thing that would help me would be coffee. And uh, I knew that we had to do something, I just didn't know um, what to do. So a lot of people get scared about LASIK surgery. Um, they're scared about the actual procedure and operation itself. And um, the reason why I'm doing this video is to educate everyone on the differences in LASIK, LASIK, and also the non-cutting versus the cutting procedures, but also to give people an insight as to the actual experience of what it is to, uh, to go through this process. I know a lot of people have done it, have done different surgeries over the past few years. There's different types. Um, there's different recuperation periods for it, so I wanted to share my story uh, for those of you that are thinking about, you know, not wearing glasses anymore or sick of wearing contacts. This documentary is going to basically cover my entire procedure from the pre-process all the way to the testing period, all the way to coming home and uh, post-op. You know, what did I have to go through in terms of healing process, uh, in terms of taking medication, the way that I ate, um, how did I open up my eyes, all that is going to be included here in the documentary. And uh, it's just basically to educate and to encourage people to at least do the research definitely on the surgery. Um, stop by Park Avenue LASIK and get your free consultation, see if you qualify for the process and then take it from there. Um, Dr. Chin is very thorough, very detailed when it comes down to the operation. His team is wonderful. They will definitely guide you with the process. All you have to do is make sure that you follow the procedures and just have a positive, positive vibe that everything will go well and um, you'll have your brand new vision with you. How we found out about Park Avenue LASIK was through my fiance's friend uh, from work that her husband had actually done um, his LASIK surgery about two years ago and um, she recommended Dr. Chen. So naturally uh, we decided to take a look at it. I was skeptical at first. I, I've heard about these surgeries, you know, LASIK that were done before years ago. Uh, as a matter of fact, my uncle uh, did it. Um, back when it first came out and he still wears glasses now so every time I heard about laser surgery I would say no forget about it um, but something told me to kind of look into this and my fiance who's a very good researcher uh, researched Dr. Chen and his team um, as well as the friend who recommended us uh, she did a lot of research uh, before she even decided to send her husband out and do the surgery and uh, of course we found out Dr. Chen is not only the best in New York City, but he's one of the pioneers that started this process. So uh, we were very confident about, you know, trying this surgery out. What really intrigued me was the fact that there was no cutting involved. There was no real risk. Um, the recuperation rate was, was pretty fast, just a couple of days of resting. Um, but this is something that I was interested in, and this is why I decided to, to try out Dr. Chen. Okay, Louis' prescription is high myopia, minus 7 sphera and uh, minus 0.75 astigmatism. Oh, it's like my glasses. Yeah. Did, did, did you show it to him or not yet? Not yet. No, yeah. Look, no, 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 you probably think like my prescription's really bad and you're nervous, right? Yeah. yeah. I was the first uh, doctor to get LASIK myself. This is like 20 years ago. I did the cutting procedure because the non-cutting thing wasn't available then. Okay. Um, and I did 5,000 lay six, okay? So I switched to the non-cutting because it's safer, it doesn't cause dry eyes because we're not cutting the 
flat, but we're not cutting the nerves, which is what causes the dry eyes. And it doesn't cause night glare, because afterwards, if you cut the cornea, lift it up, you put it back, you really wind up with a two-piece cornea forever. It, it never fully heals. Okay. You get, it's like a sandwich. If you get poked in the eye, you, you could be unlucky, the flap can come up or sometimes get torn off. But even if you don't, you have a two-piece cornea, when the light comes through, it kind of reflects off of that. It would be like taking your glasses, cutting it in half and polishing it to do prescription and gluing it together. Gotcha. You get a different prescription, but you get some distortions. Anyway, we switched to um, LASIK on the surface, so we're not having those problems. But I, I wanted to show you that your prescription is almost identical to mine. So did you have like thick ones too? Yeah. I have, to, I have to pay extra to make these. These were thin. these were extra because they're high index, like they're higher index of refraction, but they're still quite thick. And you can see they go past the frame, and they're not so attractive. And then you have to get either you have to get thicker frames, or you mm -hmm. just have the lens sticking past the frame. But yeah. these these are also high index. Yeah, like mine. Right, even high index, they can't get it that thin. Yeah. You want to try. So just yeah. if you look if you look across the room, you'll see it's pretty close. Actually, yeah. You see that? Yeah. It's almost the same prescription. I could read. Yeah, yeah. Read that A and C, so they try not to try not to forget because I think it's um yeah it's reassuring. It's just that I thought my vision was so bad that no, you, no, no, you no, really no. couldn't. We, we, we've done people twice as good. We, we've done the highest prescription in the world actually minus twenty two. Okay. Because we're not we're not cutting a flat. So if you, if you look at the diagram here, mm -hmm. okay, so. Normally, you, you cut the cornea in half, and then you lift up the cornea, and you laser underneath to change the shape. But once you lift up half the cornea, you, you can't do anything with this. It's like unusable tissue. So by not cutting the cornea in half and lifting up and lasering like underneath the cornea, okay, we're, we're just lasering the surface. We have the entire thickness of the cornea to work with. That's one of the phrases that that, that Dr. came up with. It's good, okay. and um, we can treat much higher prescription. So before I switch to LASIK from LASIK, my limit, like every LASIK surgeon's, was about minus 10. And then by not cutting a flap, the flap itself is about 100 microns thick. That's enough to treat another 10 diopters of prescription. So right after switching from LASIK to LASIK, the cutting to the non-cutting with the same laser, same surgeon, same staff, our, our limit went from minus 10 to minus 20. So you're, you're nowhere near our limit. Good. Okay, so I guess you were uh, wondering if you're a good candidate, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so, so we have the decision. You ready for the decision? Yeah. Yeah. You're a good candidate. I'm nervous. Yeah, 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 Are you serious? Yeah, 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 oh my yeah. god. This yeah. You're going to do great. Great news. Um, yeah. we, have, we have a new system where we, we set up like a WhatsApp group. Okay. And, and then that way if you have any questions, it'll be you, me, your companion, or your wife, Dr. Mm -hmm. Delja, okay. the other fellow, uh, Dr. Gall, who works here, also has a PhD. And then there's a front desk staff. And that way if you have any questions between now and your procedure, instead of calling on the phone, or, getting a voicemail, calling back, and you just text the group, Okay. and then you get the answer right away. Uh, just finished doing my first exam for to see if I qualify to finally get rid of these glasses, these contacts that I've been wearing for almost eight years. Um, if you look, the doctor went through all my prescriptions, so I've had multiple glasses since I was seven years old, um, and thankfully I do qualify for the exam. So we're gonna go over the details, uh, schedule everything over the next month or so, and hopefully everything will be well. So I'm really excited. I was scared at first, but I'm looking forward to the actual procedure. And the doctor is amazing. All right, so we just got out of uh, Park Avenue LASIK. Uh, we just did our first consultation with Dr. Chin. I was very nervous, very scared. Um, you know, it's a, it's a life-changing experience to wear glasses and to have contacts and to hear all these stories about people, you know, being fearful of this uh, procedure. It was actually pretty good, so I will be documenting the entire process from the beginning all the way to the end. Uh, just to show everybody that it's not as hard as you think or it's not, you know, that dangerous. There is a lot of research, there's a lot of, you know, good reviews on this place. A couple of our friends have done it as well. We want to send a special thank you to Irene and Judah. You know who you are. Thank you again for referring us to Dr. Chin and Park Avenue LASIK. Uh, not only is my vision improved tremendously, um, you know, I have no more headaches, no more migraines. Uh, it's like a fresh start. It's a, it's a fresh reset. It's starting all over again. It's seeing things in a whole new way. And I appreciate all your help, all your support. Uh, answering all the questions that I had at the beginning initially. I, I spoke to Judah about his experience and uh, he was able to share with me exactly what the process was. So we want to thank you for that. 
I want to thank my fiance Allison for helping me throughout this process. I want to thank you for your patience. I want to thank you for all your research that you did uh, in regards to this and just being with me the whole time, a whole step of the way, not leaving my side for any reason. I truly appreciate that. I know it wasn't easy at first. I was very skeptical about it. I remember we rescheduled our surgery twice and um, just, you know, just taking a leap of faith and, and praying to God that everything would go well, and it did. And I want to thank you for that. Um, I will never forget what you did for me. I've been wearing glasses since the age of seven, and I want to say that part of it is because of my family genetics. I know a lot of people in my mom's side wear glasses, but I also think it was a lot of video games, a lot of computer playing um, that caused me to, to have such a bad vision at such a young age. Uh, so I started wearing contacts at the age of 16. If I calculate all together, I must have spent over twelve to $15,000 in contacts and also in, uh, in glasses. As you know, the, the higher your prescription is, the thicker your glasses are, so the more money you have to pay in order to condense that glass. So calculation-wise, I must have spent about $15,000 altogether in, in glasses. So the actual procedure itself is very fast. So we're moments away from uh, the actual surgery. I took a couple of uh, pills, like steroids, uh, Valium, uh, just to kind of calm me down. And uh, there's a couple of medications that you have to take for the next couple of days. Based on my prescription, since I was a negative seven, negative eight, it took me about 45 to 50 seconds on each eye. Once you're in the actual procedure, you do not feel a thing. Of course, uh, Dr. Chen and his team will give you medication um, to, you know, to calm you down if you're nervous. Uh, and basically, this helps you out. Uh, so the actual operation itself is, is, is nothing. It's nothing to worry about. It's the afterwards that you have to pretty much take care of yourself. Uh, we're on day six. Uh, actually, Happy New Year to everybody. This is 2019. It's January 1st. Not only is it a new year, but it's also my birthday. And uh, this has been by far the best birthday gift I've given to myself. Um, I'm able to see much better. If I'm wearing the shades, it's because I'm still getting used to the light. I'm actually able to watch TV for a couple hours and just kind of walk outside. I still can't look at a computer or the phone. Everything is still a little too bright. Um, but every time that I sleep and I wake up, I feel like my vision it's coming back more and more. Um, when I do look at things, I'm able to read them more clearly. So um, in this process, you definitely, definitely need to sleep as much as possible. And of course, take your, your medications. We're on our way back to Park Lasik. Everything is good, I'm just exhausted after all these days of resting and all the pills. So today we're gonna see if they're gonna take off the bandages and see what happens. All right, this is the first week. Yes. Let's see what the result is. How well you are already seeing. So this is six, seven days after uh, the surgery. So we're back for the checkup to see what's going on, um, to see what other medications we have to take. But so far, everything has been well. I'm finally able to see everything in the office. I can see the logos. I can read the, the prints. Everything. Because you have to keep looking. Hey guys, this is Lewis again. Uh, this is one month exactly after post uh, surgery. Everything is looking amazing. I have my friend here, Sean, who's also interested in doing uh, the eye surgery. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit what's going on. Basically, uh, my vision has gotten a lot better. Uh, I'm actually driving now, so that's great. Um, the medication I'm taking less and less, and today's just going to be another checkup to see where the, the vision's at. Um, the last time we did the checkup, it was at 2030, so every day, every week, it's getting better and better. I'm taking all my drops, um, and I, of course, convinced Sean to also do his surgery. He's been wearing glasses for a couple of years. Um, he wants to give himself a gift later on after grad school, so Sean, why do you want to do your surgery? But realistically, I'm, I'm tired of not being able to see. I can't go to the movies, I can't do my schoolwork, I can't go to a vacation without wearing glasses, and I can't really enjoy because your glasses always move, they always fall off. 
your eyes are just there forever. And uh, something that we all did a while back, even with Sean and a couple of friends, we went to the Grand Canyon and uh, we also went to Vegas. We were in the pool. And some of the things that we, people that wear glasses, struggle with is not being able to enjoy the water and have a good time. So after Sean dies of surgery, we're actually going to go back to Grand Canyon with the wife and all our friends and just have a good time and just kind of see everything in a, in a whole new way. So there's a couple of things that I would recommend to people that are thinking about doing the surgery. Number one is definitely do your research. Number two, definitely have somebody that's going to help you, a partner, either your husband, your wife, that's going to be able to take care of you after the surgery. Number three, after you complete the surgery and you go home to rest, make sure that you sleep as much as possible. The more that you sleep, the, the faster you'll recuperate. That's exactly what happened to me. I was able to keep my eyes closed for... A number of days so when I went back to my uh, follow-up uh, Dr. Chen had told me that you know my, my eyes were good and uh, you know I recuperated pretty fast so number three definitely make sure that you sleep as much and keep your eyes closed as much as possible and number four share this experience with anybody else that's interested in doing the surgery uh, it's good to spread the word to let people know that you could have a fresh start Okay, so we're going to count to three and see if Luis is amazed and sees a lot sharper after his LASIK than before. Okay, ready? Yep. One, One, two, two three. 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 Open your eyes. Can you see? Yeah. yeah you got wow. it, right? Iris registration. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You didn't see it before. Oh, wow. Yeah, and you're the worst you're reading? for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yeah. That was blur. And you can see this. It says see better. So yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's cool, right? Okay. You see Mendon or whatever? Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before it was just a blob. Hey, look. It's going to get sharper every day. So for about a month, every day is going to be sharper. And in two weeks, you'll be like better than glasses or contacts. And I guess in, uh, in about... Can you see my mold in my hand? <laughs> Look. Can you see your... Uh, yeah, your dots. Your Yeah. Uh, Congratulations. Uh, doctor, thank you so much. It's really, really good. It's cool, right? Okay, so it's going to be twice as sharp in two weeks. I would say by by New Year's, you'll probably be pretty much 24. 20, 20. Wow. Congratulations. Okay. Doctor, thank you so much. He's That's the best. Cool. He's yeah. the best. Yeah. Uh, Aimless at all. I just saw lights. Oh, it didn't hurt, right? Yeah, I just saw lights. I want to send a special thank you to Dr. Chen and the rest of his team at Park Avenue LASIK. I think you guys are marvelous. You did an amazing job. My experience was wonderful. Um, you answered all my questions. Uh, even when I was nervous, when I was a wreck, uh, you definitely, definitely helped me out a lot. Uh, the procedure itself is amazing. It's just, I still cannot believe that I'm not wearing glasses or contacts. You know, it's been about four or five months now and I still feel like I'm wearing contacts. I wake up in the morning thinking that I have to take them off or I wake up for a second trying to look for my glasses. But as soon as I open my eyes, there's that high def vision that you guys gave me through that package. And uh, it's amazing. It's everything is extra bright. It's a fresh start. And I just want to thank you for everything that you've done. Uh, it's a life-changing experience, especially for me as a filmmaker. Um, definitely my eyes are my tools and um, you know I was very scared at first but after the procedure I see how easy it is and how you know people don't have to be nervous about it um, just basically come in do the consultation with you Dr. Chen and you'll take it from there I know that you're very detailed with everything that you do and um, you know we thank you again for everything all the support and uh, we hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, we will get you more clients.